Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Daily Drive, you guys. On Wednesdays, I will be actually driving while I am giving you the Daily Drive. And that is just because my schedule has changed a little bit and it is easier for me to get up and do the things that I need to do and then get on the road to go to the farm that I work on. It's about 40 minutes away from my house and I like to get there sooner than later so that I can, you know, get the things done that I need to get done while I'm there. So I have been in the car for you guys the last few um, daily drive Wednesdays and that's probably what it's going to be for a little while. Uh, so welcome to the daily drive. If you are new here, this live portion of this is just something that I started doing when I started to uncover the things that I could do to further help my anxiety. I was diagnosed with anxiety in 2010 and uh, had no idea what anxiety was, what it meant, what it meant to really be engaged and informed about your mental health. I didn't know about like any of that stuff. Uh, and when I was diagnosed with anxiety, I still didn't really know what it was and lived in the darkness of that for a long time uh, until about 2018, 2019. Uh, and then I started to just kind of uncover the things that I could do to be in control of my mind even while living with anxiety. My anxiety is a chemical imbalance in my body. So I take 60 milligrams of Cymbalta every single day to help me stay on top of that. And then I also do a bunch of other stuff to stay on top of my brain even more. Uh, and so the daily drive just kind of spun out of that. Um, it turns out that it's helpful information for some other people too. So um, let me know that you're here. I try not to read the screen a whole lot while I'm doing this in the car, but I do glance down, um, full disclosure. But thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in to the daily drive. Thank you for being on this journey with me and going through all of the changes and all of that. Uh, it, it, it gives me energy and allows me to live in my purpose every single day to share mental health help. So being committed to my purpose means that even though my schedule looks a little bit different, I'm still going to bring you this information. And so on Wednesdays, every single Wednesday on the Daily Drive, we talk about gratitude and what gratitude practices you can do, what gratitude does to help change your brain. And that is because when I started to uncover all of the things that I could really, really do to be in control of my brain, kind of like the overlying ultimate uh, thing that stood out in my personal growth journey was gratitude, was expressing gratitude, doing deep gratitude practices, getting deep with your gratitude, not just calling on surface things, uh, thinking about gratitude, using gratitude to redirect your brain when you need to, using gratitude to intentionally set up your day and keep you, you know, in the right frame of mind from the beginning. And that is because when you think about gratitude, when you do a gratitude practice, when you journal gratitude, when you tell someone why you're grateful for them, when you use gratitude to redirect your mind, when you elicit the emotion of gratitude in your body and brain, you are bringing out the same hormones, chemicals in your body that are associated with the feelings of joy, the feelings of calm, and the feelings of bliss. So when you intentionally set yourself up for success by thinking about gratitude from the beginning, from the beginning of your day, as soon as you wake up, as soon as autopilot brain takes starts trying to take over, as soon as you are aware of your thoughts, if you are intentionally calling on gratitude, you are intentionally taking control of the chemicals in your body. And the more you do that, the more often you do that, the more intentionally you do that, the easier it becomes 
and the more you will just be living in that state of calm and that state of joy because that's just how it works that's just how those chemicals work so when you wake up and your brain goes straight to thinking about gratitude as soon as you get up instead of all of the things you have to do today all of the bills you have to pay all of the blah 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 instead of thinking about all of that you intentionally start thinking about gratitude and tell the world that you are grateful for this day you're grateful that you woke up you're grateful that you can take control of your energy and be in the space that you need to be in for the day when you intentionally do that you're changing the chemicals in your body and the more you do that it becomes a pattern it becomes repetitive and it changes those thought patterns that are limiting us in our brains. So just by thinking about gratitude and doing gratitude practices, you're taking control of the chemicals and the hormones in your body and brain. And so that's why we talk about gratitude every single Wednesday on The Daily Drive. I talk about gratitude a lot just in my general overall life. It is one of the three main sections of The Daily Drive worksheet. Gratitude is essential to taking control of your mind, your energy, your emotions, all of that. It is essential. And so what I want to talk to you about uh, is, is something that I kind of experience in my life right now. And maybe you experience this as well. There is a lot of back and forth going on. There's a lot of division going on, especially with right now. Yesterday was election day and some of you voted one way, some of you voted another way, and that's neither here nor there. But the emotion of division is here in our world, in our society right now. Some of us are feeling excluded from other people. Some of us are feeling like our best friends are not our best friends anymore. Our families are dividing. Things are going on in our world right now. And for me personally, when things are going on in my world that are kind of stressful, that's the hardest time for me to be grateful for those things or for those people. Maybe I'm arguing with a good friend. That's the hardest time seems like they're all right we're back okay so we're talking about just kind of things being divided right now maybe there's a division in your family maybe there is a division in your friend group maybe there is a division in your office where you work because people think one way some people think another way whatever it is there's division right now and when there's division in my life when I'm stressed about something when I'm having a disagreement with someone even if it's my husband my family my best friends whoever it is when I'm feeling the stress of that division that's the hardest time for me to be grateful for those things so what I do or what I'm working on doing is redirecting my thoughts towards gratitude and still intentionally being grateful for those things, those people in my life, the job, whatever it is. So let's say like I've had a disagreement with my husband. We haven't seen eye to eye on something and you know, we, we've had a disagreement and you know, we're, we're irritated with each other. That's the easiest time to not be grateful for my husband, right? To leave that out of my gratitude because I'm mad at him and um, you know, whatever, I, I don't need to be grateful for him right now because we're arguing and I'm mad at him and, and whatever, right? It's easy when you're in that division, in the stress of that division, to not be grateful for those things. However, does one argument with my husband mean that everything is over? Does one disagreement mean that the world is coming to an end? Does one thing mean that I'm not going to have my husband in my life anymore, right? You know, now disclaimer, depending on what that thing is, like, you know, I'm just talking about like he didn't unload the dishwasher, right? Right? There's that division and that stress. I'm not talking about the major stuff, right? Like if you, if your husband has done, has murdered someone and you can't be with him, I feel you, okay? But I'm just talking about, a, you know, a simple division that's going on right now. That's the easiest time 
to forget that gratitude. And so what I'm training my brain to do is just to always be grateful and to always remember the gratitude even in those harder times. So even if I am having an argument, disagreement with my husband and we're sitting on opposite ends of the couch not talking to each other, right? I am using that as a trigger in my mind to be grateful for my husband. So I'm grateful for my husband for his support. I'm grateful that we can have a discussion and come back later. I'm still grateful for the energy of being with my husband, even though we might have had an argument or whatever it is, right? So I'm still grateful for my husband. It's just hard to see that because we've had an argument or, or a disagreement, right? So whatever that division is in your family, whatever or not in your family, whatever that division is in your life, whether it's your family, whether it is not seeing eye to eye with your significant other, whether it is, you know, your church community, whatever stress that's related to divides that you are feeling right now, direct your mind to still find the gratitude. When I've had an argument with my family, with my mom, and we don't see eye to eye on something, and I'm angry, it's the easiest time to not be grateful, right? But I'm, I'm training my brain to redirect towards gratitude when I'm feeling those emotions or when I'm sitting down and thinking about my gratitude time, when I'm filling out my daily drive and I had a, a disagreement with my husband the day before. I'm still going to put and make it an intentional point to put that gratitude for my husband on the daily drive because just because there's a divide right now, just because things are going on in our world and people are falling in one way or the other, doesn't mean that your family is still not there, your husband is not there, you know, it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world, but it is often easier to forget the gratitude during those points. So when I'm laying down in bed at night and I am thinking about gratitude to get myself calm for bed, I am including everything in my gratitude, even if it's a division somewhere, if I've had a disagreement with my family. I am still laying down, still thinking about my gratitude and still grateful for my family. So I want to challenge you to use stressful situations, use divides, use stressful energy as a trigger to intentionally take control of your mind with gratitude. So when you have a disagreement with your significant other, use that as a trigger in your mind to think about all the things you're grateful for about your significant other. It's gonna calm you down faster. It's going to make you think and see clearer so that you can talk it out. It's just going to change how you are approaching life. I'm sorry that my <laughs> lighting looks a little bit weird today. I'm driving on the way to the farm, but Thinking about gratitude and intentionally pulling in emotions of gratitude related to those specific things is going to change your thought, pre your thought patterns and thought processes in the future. So the more I'm grateful for my husband through all of the arguments, the easier living together and life together is going to be. The more I am grateful for my car, even when the check engine light is on or I've had a flat tire, I'm still grateful that I have this vehicle and this vessel to get me to work. So I challenge you to use the stressful situations, use the divides, use the icky emotions, the icky feelings as a trigger to intentionally express gratitude for those things. Don't leave them out just because you're angry. Don't, you know, forget about whoever just because you've had an argument. Intentionally include that in your gratitude and watch how it changes your brain. An argument with me now is a lot different than it was a year ago, two years ago. Because my brain is constantly intentionally excuse me, thinking about gratitude and doing my best 
to redirect to gratitude as often as possible. It literally changes the chemicals and hormones in your body. And the more you do it, the more often you practice it, the more often you use gratitude to change your thought processes, the easier it becomes and the more often you will be living in a headspace of calm. You'll be able to handle things. You People will be like, who are you? You will be a whole new person just from doing gratitude practices often. So I encourage you to make gratitude an everyday constant part of your day. Think about gratitude intentionally as soon as you wake up. Do gratitude on the daily drive. Journal gratitude. Tell someone why you're grateful for them. Listen to a gratitude meditation. Think about gratitude while you're driving. Make all of those things just a routine part of your day. And then intentionally work on using gratitude to redirect in stressful situations. Intentionally use gratitude to be grateful for the things that cause you stress. And this is the same thing that I do when my brain is falling into the body comparison spiral. When I'm scrolling through social media and I'm wishing that my body looked like so-and-so's. I do the same thing with gratitude. I start intentionally thinking about all of the things that I am grateful for about my body, about my mind, about me. In full, I am grateful for statements because it takes 90 seconds to shift energy and emotion in your body and brain, so we want to give it that full amount of time. So in full gratitude statements, I am grateful for, 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 I redirect and take control all day. I promise you, it will allow you to approach the day in just a calmer state of being. And I challenge you to make stressful situations, dividing situations, icky emotions, icky energy, a trigger for your brain to start intentionally redirecting towards gratitude and specifically pick out the gratitude in that stressful situation. It will change everything. I don't have the joy jar with me when I'm in the car, but I am always grateful for you all that tune in and watch me, hang out with me, interact with me. It really makes my world go around and allows me to live in my purpose every single day. My purpose in life is to continue to grow into my own potential and abundance so that I can show the world that you can take control of your mind and your life even while you live with anxiety. And so just doing this daily drive three times a week, just being here with y'all allows me to live in that purpose a little bit. And so I am grateful for you all. I appreciate all of you for watching, all of you that lurk. You usually go in the joy jar when I'm at home. Do me a favor and check out dailydrivecoaching.com. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, put your email address in and you will get content from me right to your email. You can also see Daily Drives. I have been in the process of relaunching that website. So you'll see Daily Drives. You can also look at my retail and shops on there. Hey Mike, thanks for catching me right at the end. You can go back and watch the replay. If you do watch the replay, drop a hashtag replay in the comments. But again, check out dailydrivecoaching.com. If you're not part of my Becoming Unlimited Facebook group, you can look for that on Becoming Unlimited or you can just let me know and I can add you. That is just a free community of support where you get these daily drives, a little bit more content about unlimiting your thoughts and a community of people to be on this mental health journey with together because we're not in this alone. Uh, and we tend to think we are and that causes a lot more stress. So it's Becoming Unlimited. I just added Becoming Unlimited shop on Facebook so you can check out some retail things there. If you happen to be catching this on YouTube, do me a favor and hit subscribe and turn on notifications and turn on notifications for all of my social media because I will never ask for a fee for what I do here on social media. I just ask that you help me spread mental health awareness by doing all of the social media things, tagging a friend, sharing a video, commenting, engaging with me. It helps me more than you know. I miss you too. Mike, I love you. Thank you for commenting, 
But you guys, remember, gratitude literally and physically changes the chemical makeup of your body and brain. Give yourself 90 seconds or more to think about gratitude and specifically when you feel the stress of division, the stress of emotion, whatever stress you're feeling, specifically point out the gratitude in those situations. Intentionally think about gratitude often and you will take control of your life and your mind. Intentionally use gratitude to redirect. Intentionally think about gratitude often and your chemicals will just all be in line. So anyway, I'm rambling now. Happy Wednesday. Drop a gratitude Wednesday. Drop a hashtag replay. Let me know you're here. And remember, this is a challenge. Make gratitude a daily practice in your life, a constant daily practice, and then use the stress of division, the stress of emotion, the stress that you feel. Use that as a trigger for your brain to then be grateful specifically for the points of that stress. If you've had an argument or a disagreement with your best friend, use gratitude to be grateful for your best friend and all the things about your best friend, even though you've had this argument. It'll help you stay calm in the long run and take control of that energy. Constant gratitude changes your brain. I love y'all so much. Thank you for hanging out in this craziness with me. As always, I will see you soon.